All right, the other topic that I had a request to review was null clines. So I've got a system, of, a first order system right here. What I'm going to do is graph the x and y null clines and try to get as much of a sense of what the face portrait looks like as I can just using those null clines. <laughs> so if I start with the x null clines, that would be where x prime is equal to 0, which would mean y plus x squared minus 1 equals 0, which would mean that y is equal to 1 minus x squared. So that's just going to be this downward opening parabola. And if that's where x prime is 0, then I know I'm not going left or right at all. So I know that I would have vertical tangent lines anywhere along that null cline. Once we figure out where the y null clines are, we'll be able to go back and figure out when those are vertical arrows pointing up and when they're vertical arrows pointing down. But look at my y null cline y prime equals 0 would mean that y minus x squared plus 1 equals 0, which would mean that y is equal to x squared minus 1. Okay. So that's going to be an upward opening parabola that's just translated down one. And there, if y prime is 0, then I'm not going up or down. I'm only going left or right. So along here, I would have a horizontal tangent. And I can see these two parabolas intersect at two points. That's going to be right here. This would be at negative 1, 0. Notice that that's going to be on the graph of both of these. If y is 0 and x is negative 1, here I'm getting 0 plus 1 minus 1, that's 0. Okay. And if y is 0 and x is negative 1, here I'm getting 0 minus 1 plus 1 is 0. The other point would be right here, and that's going to be at 1, 0. Okay. Again, this becomes y, 0 minus 1 plus 1, and this becomes 0 plus 1 minus 1. Okay. So those are my two equilibrium solutions. And so now I can figure out what's the direction of the arrows along these null clines. So let's look at the purple one first. That was my y null cline. Okay. So over here, Okay. I want to know whether I'm going left or right. Now, it's a y null cline, so I know y prime is 0. So I'm plugging into x prime to see whether we're going left or right. Now, over here, my x value is negative and my y value is positive. Okay. So I will have a positive number here. My x value is negative, but it's to the left of negative 1. So when I square it, I'm going to get a positive number that's bigger than 1. Okay. So a positive plus a number bigger than 1 minus 1. That's going to be positive. So we'll be moving to the right along here. Okay. All right. Down here, now my y value is negative, and x is something in between negative 1 and 1. So that's a negative number x squared is positive, but it's smaller than 1, and then I'm subtracting 1. So that's going to make that negative. Right. Now here, I'm pretty sure these arrows should be pointing to the right. The only reason they could point to the left is if I made a mistake in calculating these. Because notice this region here has this and this as part of its boundary. And all of the boundary of a region has to be consistently left or right and consistently up or down. Now, I am going to just double check, because if I do get that my arrows are pointing left, that might be a way that I could catch a careless error if I'd made one here. So let's just do a quick check, confirm that these actually are pointing to the right. So here, x is a positive number bigger than 1, and y is positive. So it's a positive plus a number bigger than 1 minus 1. Yep, that's positive. So we're pointing to the right. Okay, so now let's look at the vertical arrows on our x null cline. So if we're on our x null cline, I already know x prime is 0. I want to know the sign of y prime to know whether we're going up or down. So let's see, here on this region, y is negative and x is a number that's negative and to the left of negative 1, so that x squared will be bigger than 1. So that's a negative number minus something that's smaller than negative 1, to the left of negative, sorry. 
It's a negative number minus a number that's bigger than 1. Okay. Plus 1 is going to be negative. So here we'll be pointing down. Now in this region, mm -hmm. y is positive and x is between negative 1 and 1. So the x squared is smaller than 1. So that's a positive number minus something smaller than 1 plus 1. That's going to be positive. So here we're going up. Here, we should be going down because, again, this curve is part of the boundary of the same region. Let's just double check. Y is negative. X is a positive number bigger than 1, so that X squared is bigger than 1. So I'm getting a negative minus something bigger than 1 plus 1. Yep, that's negative. So we're going down. Okay, excellent. So now I want to determine the possible behaviors of each region. So I sort of got, I'll call this region A, B, C, D, and we'll let E be that region that's in between the two parabolas. And I'm going to just go through things one region at a time and take a look at all of the possible behaviors I could have and see which, if any, of those behaviors um, we could actually get. Okay. So, if we're in A, what I want to look at is since A is an infinite region, it's not completely enclosed the way that um, E is, I want to see, could I just stay in A forever? I want to see, could I pass into an adjacent region? So, could I pass into B or D? E does not count as adjacent because the only connection between A and E is this equilibrium point. Okay. And I'm going to have unique solutions, because if I look back, I've just erased it, but if I look back at the formulas that I had, they satisfy the hypotheses for existence and uniqueness, so I can't cross through this point, because that's an equilibrium solution in and of itself. So my solution curves might get arbitrarily close to that, but they can't actually get there, and they certainly can't pass through it. Okay. So I want to see if I can go into either of the adjacent regions, B or D. And then I want to see if I can approach the equilibrium point negative 1, 0. Okay. Now, if I'm in A, I need to be going right and down. Okay. So, could I go right and down and stay in A? The question is really, if I'm going right and down, am I going to be forced to at some point hit this parabola? And the answer is, yeah, I think we will actually be forced to hit this because this parabola is going to go infinitely far to the left. So at some point, those curves, if I'm going, if this is going left and down and this is going right and down, at some point those would, in fact, collide. So I'm not going to be able to stay in A. Okay. Could I go into B? So could I be coming right and down? and pass into B? Absolutely. Now, I'm going to have a horizontal tangent when I hit that null prime, and then once I pass into B, I start going up. So, yes, that can happen. Could I pass into D? Well, yeah, because we said the reason I can't stay in A forever is because if I'm going right and down, I'm going to be forced to at some point hit this. I would have a vertical tangent here, and then once I cross in, I'm going to start going to the left. I'll just have to go to the left slowly enough that I stay um, to the right of that null line so that I'm staying in D. Okay, so yes, we could approach D. Could I approach negative 1, 0? Absolutely. <laughs> Now, one thing that can be helpful in figuring out whether certain behaviors are possible or not is to say, can I get there? And you want to be careful, because A is a pretty big region. If I choose ahead of time where I want to start in A, and I said, let's start here and see where I could go, there's no way I could start here and end up here. I want to say, could I end up here by going right and down? That tells me if I'm going to go right and down to end up here, I'd better start left and up of there. Okay. So don't start by choosing an arbitrary point in A and seeing where you could go. 
start by looking at what are the possible places that you could go to and see if there's a place you could start in A and then get to that particular point. Okay, okay. Um, that covers A. What I'm going to do is stop the, this video now and just start in the next video to look at the remaining regions.